Let's talk about abdominal pain and diarrhea. If you have abdominal pain and diarrhea, you have to think about what you ate. First, water and food. If you ate some um, toxins or maybe E. coli, some bacteria, uh, or some food that is not right for you, uh, allergic to those food, uh, maybe the food that causes diarrhea like milk, some glutens if you don't tolerate them. So what you ate, uh, it could cause diarrhea and abdominal pain. If you have severe colitis, you'll have fever. But if it's mild colitis, um, then you probably won't have uh, fever. So you need to think about what you ate. Spoiled food, wrong area, um, third world countries, things like that. Also, um, laxatives diet pills, oriental medicine, sometimes causes diarrhea and abdominal pain. So you need to think about those things. So something that you ate. Also ischemic colitis, poor circulation to GI tract, stomach, intestine, large intestine, from atherosclerosis. So you have to have a, you know, chronic disease, um, and usually older age, if you have ischemic colitis. Um, also, other medications um, could cause diarrhea and abdominal pain. It doesn't have to be a certain medicine. Any medicine could do that. So you need to think about medicine. Also, pancreatitis. Uh, you could have fever or body ache, but if you have mild pancreatitis, you could have diarrhea and abdominal pain, no fever. Also parasites, uh, if you traveled or live in a, a third world countries, you have to think about a parasite, all kinds of parasites. Uh, so I won't go into detail of what kind of parasite, but you have to think about that. Overall, if you have diarrhea and abdominal pain, no fever, doesn't feel like really severe, you could try charcoal, uh, like three caps, four times a day, and Pepto-Bismol, 30cc, four times a day. Uh, you could try for one or two days and see how you do. If you get better, uh, within one or two days, you probably won't have to worry about too much. Uh, so just take Pepto, relax, take charcoal, hot pack in your belly, um, and see what happens. And if it lasts more than two days, even though it's mild, you probably should go see a doctor.